No, I said you were safe. Yeah. And it blew me well. I was sitting there like, in the yeah. I'm like, Happened so when I said that, I did I so say, nervous about being on the block. <laughs> did I say, did I say, I swear on my kids, if, if you let go right now, did any of you ever say no? See, the thing is, how he is, um... Or did he say, did he let go when I offered it to him? So I think Casey is obviously a smarter player, but Howie's much more loyal to Janelle. Completely loyal so to I'm Janelle. So like, I'm afraid that if, if Howie wins, it's a miss, and it's the exact same as Janelle winning. Whereas if Kaser wins, if, if Howie wins HOH, it's the exact same as if Janelle wins. To be honest? Whereas if Kaser wins HOH, it's like, Kaser might listen to James, or he might listen to you. He, no, he, he, he might listen to James. No, the thing is, guess what? He's already proved where his loyalty is. Because the mm -hmm. second week, uh -huh. When you guys went off on that tirade about how you were going to fucking come after season six, and before you, <laughs> this, this, this is crazy. <laughs> but listen, listen, before that happened, and before I had the understanding, because we talked about this before, mm -hmm. until recently, we've never had it solidified in here. I was like, you need to put chill time up because they're going to fucking come after season six. And my thing is, if Jamel and whatever were up, I was going off if someone got off with the veto, and I would go home. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they still, Janelle's wanted Diane out since week one. Why? Wow. Why? Because she's yeah, because she likes the man attention. No, no, no. One of the reasons, but she's also because she's scared of Diane because Janelle trashed the shit Trash. out of Diane. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, Kaser did exactly what. That's the first time I realized this alliance was completely like, fuck off, James, because. Oh, uh, of course. Yeah. From, from the beginning, they were like, I mean, James is going to peel off eventually. You know, James is going to peel off eventually. So, you know, like. Every, yeah, I mean, this time I made them get it. What's good is right now they have no idea. And, um,. Mainly because we keep trashing each other, and I mean, how we were lifting today, and how he's like, "What's gonna happen this week?" I'm like, "If, put, if Marcellus goes up, he has a chance to go home. If not, James is gone." And how he's like, "Okay, like totally fine with it." <laughs> they're, to they're completely fine with it. I mean, Casey's yeah. not even that worried going up. I was like, "Casey, are you gonna go talk to Danielle? Because you you may I go up." I could put that seed in there, and I said. I have to do that no, because I don't want to go there. I don't want to give him false hopes. I hate doing that. Well, the, I mean, Casey, I was like, Casey, are you worried about going up? And he's like, oh, you know, if it's whatever happens, happens. But, you know, there's... He didn't say anything specific, but you could tell he was kind of like... He's not mm -hmm. worried about it. Not that worried. Everyone's a little worried, but not that worried. Mm -hmm. I'm more worried than Casey is. Yeah, you shouldn't be, though. Well, I'm saying, I just, I, you know... No one likes being on the block. No, so. I... I kind of do, but okay, fine. I, I don't. It's horrible. I think God I know that. I'm going to come up with not maybe such a good speech, not that I'm bashing Julie, because I wanted to like, but not bash Julie, but I wanted to bash the show when I was on the block this week. Just be like, you know what, if I go home, I don't give a fuck because the show sucks. Well, don't do that. And I'm not here to humiliate myself anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but I would have done a toned down version. Mm -hmm. But well, what could be good is like, you know how every week someone, when they are leaving, like Diane and Jace are always like, I'm leaving and only walk me to the door. It would be awesome if you were like, I know I'm voted. I'm getting voted out, so and I only want Kaser. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it, it would be awesome if you can use some good acting skills and be like, "Can you pull that off, James?" Just go. So did, you, did, you, did you see the James? Did you do that? Oh, okay, listen. You have to do that because then, 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 they, then they you could be like, you sit, "Chill town humiliated me," or whatever. Because you can be like, "I just miss Sarah, and I only want three people walking in the door: Kaser, Howie, Kaser, Howie, and, and Janelle." Janelle. And then just and then just be like, and so I'm gonna go to square, I'm gonna whatever, I'm gonna go home, and I'll see my family soon. And then just be like, motherfuckers, <laughs> just and they will be like, okay, the vote was seven to nothing, and you're gonna be like, and do this, even do this move. Oh, did you see? You saw my season last year. I already pulled this off last year. Okay, and it was Kaser again. Kaser did. I went up because I, I, I spent an entire week just trying to save my ass. And um, they're like, Jennifer's like, and I nominate, and I'm like, but, okay, listen, th I'm totally fine with that. I think it's hilarious. But once again, it's hard for me to think. I mean, like, if I'm looking at threats right now of people, like, Kaser versus Marcel. Marcellus is a cancer in this house. But he's a cancer that either side will put Let up. Let me see that you can cut out. Those are the people though. who last forever. That's the no. that's the cowboy of the house. No, no. no. George is the cowboy. George is the cowboy. And Marcellus is the what? I see. He's Josh in my season. Marcella, and that's why I kept him around. Kaser and George are possibly um, cowboys. You know what I mean? Somebody's coming. I'll get out of here. Oh, you want me to send? You, okay, I'll be out of here. You go down. I need a bathe. Sorry. Well, you, you, Danielle, you're going to be doing it in the kitchen sink. No, it's a full shower. <sighs> okay. 
The kitchen yeah. sink's awesome. Did you know, restroom real quick? Yeah. I sat in the kitchen sink, washed my whole body off. <laughs> it's clean. I cleaned it up. <laughs> That's so nasty. We had a water fight, the likes of which you have never seen. It was, the kitchen was completely soaked in the water the entire thing. Did they call you the DR since you've been in the solitary? I had my DR in my solitary. Oh, you did? Mm hmm How'd they do that? I felt like, what's that movie with Sylvester Stallone when he was in jail? Judge Locked Dredd? Down? Was it was lockdown? lockdown, yeah. Was it lockdown? With yeah. uh, Michael, Tom Sizemore and uh, the scene where he's in solitary confinement and he had to keep standing up going, prisoner, such and such, such and such, a one, two, five, and he'd go back lay down. I didn't see it. But he had to escape. He was in prison. I'm not a big Sylvester Stallone fan. Do you know what I'm talking Damn. about? Shoot me. Mm -hmm. I had to. Well, the scene is in solitary confinement, and they wake him up every hour on the hour. And he's look at the camera and go, uh, blah, 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 cell box, such and such, and read off his numbers. That does sound familiar. So I kept getting him going. So what did you do? You go out to the camera and the corner? I got a thing, yeah, from Big Brother 3, trying to play Big Brother 3. Is that what you did? I did. I did one time. And then they, got, they laughed. I knew they were laughing at me because the toothpaste they gave me was AIM. I said, they don't even make this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got this from the dollar store. So I've been to the dollar store. So I know what they have. So that's the dollar store. And then I went pee, and I didn't drink, and I didn't eat. <laughs>